SM Music. Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. If this is your first time visiting this channel, don't forget support this channel, subscribe, like and share this video and also hit the notification bell for all the upcoming videos. Today I'm going to teach you guys a few different patterns that you could use with your left hand and when you're playing chords with the right hand. And we're going to be in the key of C major for this uh, tutorial. And we're going to be using the chord progression 1-5-6-4 in the key of C major. The 1-5-6-4 in the key of C major is C major, G major, A minor, F major. So now the basic way you can play these chords, uh, with your left hand, you could just play the first note of each chord. So for C major, we can play C. For G major, we'll play G with the left hand. For A minor, we play A with the left hand. For F major, we play F with the left hand. So the whole progression will sound like this. So now, what can you add to the left hand to make these chords sound fuller and better? So the first thing you could use is you could add the fifth note to the left hand. So which means you play the first note of the chord and the fifth note. So we do that for all the chords. So for C major, on the left hand, we're going to have C and G. For G major. On the left hand, we're going to have G and D. For A minor, on the left hand, we're going to have A and E. For F major, on the left hand, we're going to have F and C. So the whole progression will be... So this is the first thing you could do. For each chord you play on the piano, you can always play the first note of the chord and the fifth note. So the second thing you could do, let's say to make the chords sound better and fuller, is you play active. So what is an active? So let's say for the chord C major, we can play C here, and we play another C, an active higher. So we're gonna use this for all the four chords. So C as an active, G as an active, A as an active, and F as an active. So the whole progression will sound like this. So this is using an active for each chord. And now let's say you want to make it more interesting for the left hand. So you could use this pattern, which means it's going to be, let's say, playing the chord C major. This is the pattern you're going to be using. So for C, I'm playing C, G, C, G. D, G, C, G, C. It sounds complicated, but it's very simple. So.
So we're gonna use this pattern for all the four chords. So C. So now let's play the whole progression with this pattern in the left hand. So this one is a more interesting pattern that you could use on any progression you play on the piano. Once again, this one is... So you're using the first note of the chord, the fifth, back to the active, and back to the fifth, to the second, or the ninth, back to the fifth, to the first, and to the fifth, and back to the first. So C, G, C, G, D, G, C, G, C. So you use that same movement for each chord. So this is what I wanted to show you guys today. So you can practice these for whichever chord that you are playing on the piano. First you can play always the first note of the chord as the bass note or you could use active for whichever chord you play on the piano you could always play an active with the left hand or if you don't want to play an active then you could play So that movement, which is the first, the fifth, and we could say the eighth and the ninth. So. so I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Don't forget, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like, and share this video. And also hit the notification bell for all the upcoming videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.